Hi guys, welcome to my channel I want to be a cabin crew. Today I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the cabin crew roster. That means the cabin crew schedule. First of all, the roster is published one week before the end of the month. That means the roster for June will be published on 24th of May. Usually you will get it between 22nd and 24th. How many hours does a cabin crew fly in a month? The number of hours depends. For example, if you have 7 days, 10 days of leave this month, of course you will not have so many hours. But usually between 80 and 120 hours, sometimes even more. The schedule is busier for cabin crew who work in business class. They can get even 140 hours. How many days off you get every month? The minimum is 8 days, but usually I get 9-10 days off in a month. When you have 2 days off or more, you can go out of Qatar and travel wherever you want. Now let's go to a subject that I bet you will like. Maybe you heard about this or no, but you can bid for destinations and days off. Before the roster is published, we have a period when we can place 10 bids. For example, you can bid for 8 destinations that you want to fly to, then you bid for 4 consecutive days off because you want to go home, let's say, and also you want 14th of June to have off because it's your friend birthday and you want to go party. Now, how many bids you will get? From my experience, between 2 and 4. That's pretty good. This month you will go to Tokyo and Seychelles, destinations that you requested for, and next month you will go to Maldives, Singapore and Paris. Not bad, right? But let's say you really want day off on 7th of June, because it's your birthday. Then you bid just for this and your chances to get it are very high because you placed only one bid. Let's answer to another question. What kind of flights you will get? We have two types of flights, turnarounds and layovers. A turnaround is a short flight, usually shorter than 4 hours and a half, where you go and come back on the same day, you don't have time to leave the aircraft. Then we have the layovers, longer flights where we disembark the aircraft and stay at the destination around 24 hours sometimes even two days. Some people ask me if you get layovers even when you start to fly. Yes, you do. Your first roster is just a regular roster with layovers and turnarounds. How many of each? Usually six layovers and two turnarounds, but you can be lucky enough to get only layovers on some months and unlucky to have five to six turnarounds in other months. I think you're curious to see a real roster. I'm gonna show you an example to give you an idea. Here we have the roster for February. As you can see, we have 8 days off, including 5 consecutive. But we can consider as days off also 13 because we land at 5 in the morning, so we have the entire day just for ourselves. Also on 27, we land at 0045 midnight. On 21st, you can see there is nothing. Why? Because we have a flight on 22nd at 1.05 in the night, so our pickup is gonna be around 10.30 in the evening. This is why 21st is not considered as a day off. Now let's see what flights do we have. As you can see we have some codes of three letters. You don't know what they mean but you will learn them shortly after you start flying. DOH is Doha, the base. All the time you leave Doha, go to a destination, then you have to return to the base. For this month, February, we have six layovers as you can see. Doha. LHR, it's London. Doha DMI, it's Moscow. Doha BKK, it's Bangkok. Doha PVG, it's Shanghai. 
Then again we have one more London. I left the period from 8 to 10 in the end because it's a little more complicated. You go from Doha to Bangkok. You have a layover of 25 hours. Then on 9th you go from Bangkok to Hanoi. It's just a 2 hours flight as you can see. You don't get to stay in Hanoi because the plane will stay on ground only 1 hour and 20 minutes from 16.05 to 17.25. So on the same day you return to Bangkok. Then again you have a layover of 25 hours in Bangkok and on 10th you go back to your base, Doha. So far we have 6 layovers or 7, depends how you see the things. And one turnaround. Bangkok, Hanoi and back. But we do have 2 more turnarounds. Doha DXB, that means Dubai, and Doha AUH, that's Abu Dhabi. We can see we have on some days the letter R, that means requested. You requested for Bangkok and Moscow, so this crew got two bids for February. You can see as well some numbers for each flight. This is the code for the type of aircraft you are going to fly on. 77W it's Boeing 777. 388 it's Airbus 380. 788 is Boeing 77 and 320 it's Airbus 320. I guess that's it about the roster. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any other questions just write a comment below and I'll be happy to answer. If you want to discover more about Cabin Crew Life, make sure you subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos about requirements, open days, salary, training, etc. See you next time!